So where I come into this is I'd previously been a director of public health in Warrington just before the pandemic when I became the DPH for Salford. And at the time, I was so interested in the uh, connection between the economy, income, jobs, uh, health at work and health. And of course, um, to be able to have that, then you need to have a relationship with local businesses. And I was so keen to be introduced to businesses through the business development arm of the local authority. And um, so we did start to think of some of the areas that you've just presented there, Julia. When I came to Salford, though, I mean, Salford is really um, one of the highest growing uh, cities in the whole of the Northwest. And there's huge potential for that to influence and improve health in, in, uh, for people who live in Salford and pe for people who work in Salford. So it becomes really more important that we don't leave anyone behind because when you um, have this level of regeneration that we have in Salford, more people move into the city, new companies open up into the city and they kind of like have their branches there. But actually local residents, um, we recognize we've left behind. So that's where community wealth building becomes really interesting because it's how can we make sure that local residents are benefiting from this wealth and that they are building their own wealth. And there's strong partnerships already in Salford. So the Health and Wellbeing Board, obviously, where I, um, uh, where, where I lead most of my work. But there are other partnerships like work and skills, like housing. And it's um, the roles of those larger anchors, particularly culture, creativity. We have BBC um, Media City. We have the Lowry in Salford. So actually, there's huge potential for the large anchors to support and co-sponsor the growth of our SMEs, our independent businesses, and to develop their own sector in that way. For example, whether it's uh, housing, whether it's um, uh, finance-based, or whether it's um, culture-based. So... It isn't just the domain of the NHS, and we felt we felt kind of like, I think we feel like we are the ambassadors for health going um, out into communities. Whereas actually, I think we've got a lot to learn from communities, and we've got a lot to learn from business, um, because as public sector, you know, we take kind of like some of the funding for granted, but businesses really have to make sure that they're spreading um, that and making a profit at the same time. So I came across this, um, the notion of a social enterprise. And, and actually, I looked even closer around credit unions because those are financial cooperatives that are quite small, but they are about keeping the wealth and you know, sharing it out in the local community. So we're really interested in cooperatives as a new social enterprise model because that's where the ownership then, you're working for yourself, um, whether it's... Um, you know, a cooperative food grocery store or whether it's a, a, a credit union. So the cooperative sector then, of course, did start in Greater Manchester. And so we're kind of like rediscovering some truths that, and, you know, we're catching up, I suppose, in health to catch up with, okay, then how can we use this economy or the strength of the economy or the economic vehicles that already existed before us to improve health? So that's where I've come on a personal journey from Warrington into Salford. And it's been the journey as well for the other partners in Salford who attend the Health and Wellbeing Board. We were really keen to adopt the real living wage because by adopting the real living wage ourselves as anchors, that would then trickle down to our supply chains. And we know that's incredibly hard. And then the Health Foundation, thank you very much to the Health Foundation for funding economies for healthier lives. And for us in Salford, we actually were a unique um, contributor into Economies for Healthier Lives, the national program, because we were grassroots grown out. We weren't led by the council. We were led by co-production by local communities. And they looked at the needs of the large anchors, the sectors that currently exist, and whether they could, as local residents, set up their own social and cooperative ex um, uh, enterprise. So we are still on that journey. We don't actually have a strategy yet, but we're heading in that way. And I think our strategy is more of a bandwagon you know, let's um, let's leapfrog. Um, we're, we know we're getting the, the uh, regeneration, so how can we use that? And then actually as well, it does apply for declining areas, not just for regenerating areas, because there the imperative is even bigger for you to hold your pound locally and to support your local businesses. So that's those are the perspectives that I wanted to bring here today.